Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard with a 14 by 14 inch canvas. And I just had something really cool happen to me recently and it made me want to do some strange stuff. Which is use all dark colors and maybe I can get that. Come out. Come out now. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Wow. Okay. And goodbye. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Oh, I got a double stream here. And what else do I want in there? Something else dark. Ah, the Anitas. So, do I have an edge catcher handy? Did I even think about that first? I guess I can use this. Maybe. Yes, that's dry. Cool. So, more? Looks like more. I really want some of that. Yes, I do. Let's do that over here too. So I'm not telling you what I'm doing. I should probably do that. <laughs> when I made my black sky recently, and I did actually pour it on. Wow, that's a huge thing right there. My huge thing. Probably came with that other huge thing. It could be a bug too. We got a lot of bugs today. Rather than risk picking that up again right this second, knowing that I have more paint to use up, I'm going to do that and then I'm going to go back to telling you what I was telling you, which is I made a black sky and when I flipped the painting over, it was such a cool mountain range and the sky became northern lights that I thought that would be a very interesting thing to try. And so why don't I do that? And I am holding this backwards and I am seeing stuff in there. Why am I seeing stuff in there all the time? It's probably bubbles. No, it's not. It's stuff. Anyway, those are gorgeous colors, and they will dry darker, but they're still really unexpectedly beautiful striations of the art minds. I see that thing. Wow. Too many things. Bye thing. Anyway, they're making beautiful mountains, and I should probably just let all of this dry overnight and call it part one and call it good. I had no idea that was going to be that cool, because that is just gorgeous. I am very pleased with that. I might not be as pleased once it hits the bottom, but you never know. I'm going to run it right down. Hopefully there will be enough paint so I can throw it back up with the edge catcher. And I can use a Princeton, excuse me, an OXO omelet turning spatula or a Princeton Ritual catalog spatula, both available on my Amazon li link underneath, show more underneath the video. I can take all of that paint. I don't have to waste any of it if I don't want to. Put it right there. My temptation is to leave that spatula so I can use it again in a minute. I've got plenty of paint and it seems to be covering very nicely. And that's my mountain range. If I tip it down and then flow it over to one side, then I will have even more cool patterns. Wow, that's just dramatic. I'm going to let it flow up on that side over there. Actually, I'm just going to stick my skewer right in there because I can. I kind of like those other bumps too, but the drips were working for me. Take everything on my tile, and stick it on the edge of my canvas. I don't know, I can't be the only person who likes dark things. So somebody's going to like this besides me. My temptation is to go ahead and put in a wild sky right now. And if I don't like it, fix it tomorrow. So I'm trying to think what color the northern lights are. Well, I watch love bugs crawl across my paint bottles. And they are often green. 
and blue. And that, I'm going to use that purple because I like that purple. Let's see what happens. I'm not going to clean that. I did a Northern Lights piece not that long ago. I'm going to let that go right over the edge so I have a chance to use the paint there to cover. Yep, not unhappy with that at all. I might need a little more paint. I squeezed the uh, spatula down in. Not so sure about the black. All of that's pretty cool. Like I said, I'm not sure about the black. I'm definitely not sure about being tickled on my ankle by love bugs either. But uh, I'm going to let that go down across the top as best I can because it's there right now. And I can come back. I love that. No, get off my glasses. <laughs> wow, that was interesting. Not a huge fan of love bugs, generally speaking, but definitely not up my nose and in my eyeball. <laughs> All right, so let's call it abstract. Abstract Northern Lights, very cool. I like it. I am happy that I tried that. I am surprised that it came out as well as that. I am totally in love with that, actually. I'm really nervous about sticking my spatula down in there right now. I'm going to tell you guys that I have an Amazon link below the video. It's under Show More. When you click Show More, you'll find it. Along with my paint pouring recipe and Pinterest and Instagram links and Twitter, too. Mm -hmm. such as it is and uh, I love you guys there's eight, over 80,000 of you even if only 200 of you are watching any given point any any given day thank you for watching and uh, thank you to those of you who have helped me out by contributing to keep me painting all this time I really appreciate that massively um, I don't mind that edge it's kind of cool actually Matter of fact, I think I might embellish it by just running my skewer along there. I might want a little bit more paint on my finger or my edges, and I think I'm going to put some of it right on my edge catcher and use the edge catcher paint to mix up those three colors while I stick them on my edges. And that's working. Just a fingerful here. I don't really want lines of demarcation, and all of that is metallic. Um, the minty green is a folk art, and I'm not sure about the purple. That could be anything. Um, if there's turquoise. I use, generally speaking, um, Art Mines iridescence that I pick up at Michael's, and love bugs away. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Stop tickling me. It's not fair. It's just not fair. All right. I want to tip it all up so I can get rid of that line of demarcation at the top. Maybe I can blow it around somewhat. Let's see what happens. Probably not. Get rid of my fingerprints first. I think my air hose is plugged. You know what? I'm not wrong. It's like nothing's coming out. Wow. I need to trim that off. You know that? Fortunately, I have scissors. I think heavier paint. in my northern lights. I got some beautiful cells going on in the bottom and they're pretty wild. They're animal print-ish. Print um, this is just striking. 
I love you guys. I said there was over 80,000 of you. I guess I'm just going to put up with whatever's at the top as she sticks her finger in anyway. And I hope the paint relaxes and fills in those little gaps because this is too pretty to mess with. Whatever it is, it's what it is. I do sell my artwork. I give classes at the house in Spring Hill in Florida. Um, I have Facebook groups. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students and Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors is for fans and collectors. I see I got a little spot missing on my side, but I got plenty of paint coming down so I can touch that up right now. I so love you guys and I so love this too. I think everything else is pretty well covered. If I can keep my fingers out of it, I'll be really well off. Sometimes the uh, less expensive canvases from Michael's resist paint along their edges and their corners. So I said I love you guys and I tell you all the time but I love your comments. You keep my morale up when things are hard and things are hard and uh, thank you for contributing to keep me painting. I steal a little paint. No moon. All right. So give me a thumbs up, please, please, please. It, uh, it may eventually result in my videos having better placement on YouTube. We hope so. Um, I would like to come back from this deficit because it's crazy. But um, you guys hang in there. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys very much. So I'll talk to you soon. Check out the end screens. <laughs> Love bugs away. And uh, there's over 840 videos. If you're looking for videos of mine, um, they're organized by the hundreds and by topics. So if you're interested, do some binge watching. That will probably help me out immensely. If you watch the commercials, it will help me even more. I know that's terrible, but this actually, they tailor them to you, so they're pretty cool. I've watched my fair share. Believe me, I have. All right, you guys, take care. See you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Can I zoom in? I could. That's neat. I don't know if you can see all of it.